Yeah. But unfortunately, because uh, the mover was called to respond, I was not able to speak. But I will speak, I will read uh, a chapter in the Bible which applies to this motion, but which also applies to his. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you out as a sheep among wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and as harmless as doves. I will not speak because of the rule of relevance, but I hope he remembers that. Madam Speaker, we were talking about the issue of sexual harassment of uh, employees of the TA state in Kericho, and I've spoken a bit about it. And Madam Speaker, one of the things that I want to say, that it is actually a tragedy when we are talking about Kenyans who are helpless, who do not have the advantages that we have as members of parliament or as national leaders that who are harassed and had actually challenged the committee that you had hoped that they'd come up with uh, stronger recommendations and one of the recommendations that I'd hoped that the committee had come up with was to force the tea uh, companies to come up with very clear sexual harassment policies the other issue madam speaker that I wanted to speak to is that as a house, we need to call a spade a spade and not a big spoon. When we talk about sexual harassment, if you look at the Sexual Offences Act, that is a very clear definition. But what I was hearing members referring to here are cases of sexual abuse, cases of rape. When you are talking about sexual harassment, we are actually cushioning acts, which are very bad. And uh, Madam Speaker, I know that, you know, sometimes it's very difficult. I remember there was a case that we were told one time in church that there's a lady who was told that she should, uh, if she doesn't speak, she was a poor lady and she was told if she doesn't uh, say amen, she will be given a blanket. And so this woman kept sitting down and every time uh, the pastor said something she liked, she could not say amen. But at some point, she reached a level and she just said, Amen, anyway, blanket or no blanket. Madam Speaker, I've reached that level of blanket or no blanket, I'm going to say Amen. And the men I am going to say is this. I want to warn the men who are targeting national leaders with sex shaming, like the one we have seen of late. If we cannot protect women at the local level, and we are trying to and us as women leaders, we are being targeted. And we want to be quiet because of one, two, three reasons. And please excuse me as women because I know we had agreed that we will not talk about this. But blanket or no blanket, I will talk because I'm very offended. We cannot be treating women like trash. We cannot be treating women like uh, rubbish. We cannot be treating women like they are the ones who came up with sex. Like they are the ones who invented sex. And I want to tell women who are shaming and victimizing another woman who is already a victim and you are trying to victimize and taking a moral high ground. Shame on you. Shame on you. I have seen one of my friends going and saying, because you have children, uh, don't do this. Who told you that a woman posted photos of herself? You come here, post photos. Who hasn't had sex? Even I have had sex. Otherwise, why is my name Mrs. Mabona? But you cannot use, even today I've had. What is the big deal if I've had? And if you think there's a problem, if you think there's a problem, report to the nearest police or report me to God. But what I want to say is in this country, this must stop. This nonsense must stop. And the DCI must follow those, I don't, I don't even know what them to call them. I don't want to be abusive. But the DCI must follow those guys. Every time, there are so many women who have been followed. And every time you are being told, just keep quiet, otherwise you will not get a blanket. Blanket or not blanket, amen. I am going to say it. You are not going to harass women. I don't care, that, care whether you are in UDA. I don't care whether you are in ODM. When it is an issue of women, my party becomes a woman. When it an, it's an issue of women, my party becomes a woman. Because what is done to another woman will be done to me and Madam Speaker. The issue of morality is a very personal issue. Whether somebody decides they want to get out of their marriage, we are all answerable to God. So let us not bring issues to, of somebody to, to ourselves. Let that be our own issue. But what somebody has done in her privacy, 
Why are you bringing for us here in public? I'm sure even if we ask them, uh, if we were to take videos of Ichungwa 